Hey everyone, it's Anthony from Pretty Printed here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use the set default method for dictionaries to make working with lists inside of dictionaries a little bit easier. So what I want to do is I want to take this data structure here, which is a list of dictionaries. And these dictionaries basically have a type of animal and the breed of that animal. So you see here dog and then German shepherd, horse, thoroughbred, cat, Persian, and so on. So I want to convert that from a list of dictionaries to a dictionary of lists. So one way that I can do that is by doing this. So I'm going to loop over my animals list. So for animal in animals, I am going to then append the breed to a list for the particular animal. So to do that, I use the animal dictionary. The key is going to be the type of animal. So animal type. And then I'm going to append to that list. So animal and then breed. And then I'll print out the animal dictionary at the end. So let me run this and we'll see what happens. I get a key error. So it tells me key error dog. So it's looking for a dog key in the animal dictionary. And because it's not finding it, it is airing it out. So what I need to do in the typical case is this. So dog is an empty list, cat, empty list, and horse is also an empty list. And by doing this, it will work. So now I see for the horse key, I have the three horses, thoroughbred, Arabian and Mustang. For dog, I have German Shepherd, Boxer and Bulldog. And for cat, I have Siamese, Sphinx and Persian. So that works. But what about the case where I don't know exactly what the keys are going to be ahead of time? So this works because I know I only have three potential keys. If I remove this, how can I change this so I can create a list if it doesn't already exist. So to do that, I have to check if the key is in there in the first place. So if animal type in animal dictionary. So if this key exists in that dictionary, that should be a colon, then I will go ahead and append to it because the list is there because the key exists. If it doesn't exists, so the animal type is not in the dictionary, then what I want to do is I want to create a new list there. So animal dictionary and then animal type. And this is going to be equal to a list of a single item, the animal breed. So now let's run this and we see it works the same way. The order changed because of the nature of dictionaries, but the idea is when the animal is not found inside of the dictionary, then it will go ahead and create a new key for that animal and then it will add the breed to a list. So it's the first item in the list and then in other runs of the loop, when it finds that same animal again, it simply appends the breed to the existing list. Now, this is an acceptable way of doing it, but there is another way that you can do it. And that's where the set default method comes in. So I'll just uh, comment all this out and I'll run it just to show you that it's no longer running. So I get an error because, uh, because of the indentation, but you see, I get an empty dictionary here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the set default method. So animal dictionary that set default. And what set default does is it looks for a key that you specify in the first argument here. So animal type. If it finds that key, then it goes ahead and gives you that particular key. And if it doesn't, then it sets, it creates that key and it sets it to whatever you pass in as a second argument. So in that case, I want an empty list. So what this code does here is it will give me the key for the current animal. So if I'm on dog, it will give me the dog key. If I'm on cat, it will give me the cat key. And if it doesn't exist, it will go ahead and create it and set the value to the empty list here. So this isn't enough, but all I have to do at this point is because this code gets run first, I can run something immediately after it. 
and that's simply a append, and then the breed of the animal. So now what happens is, if this finds the animal, then it will simply append this breed to the existing animal. If it doesn't find the animal, then it will create it with a new empty list and then append the animal to that empty list. So it does the same exact thing as this here. So let me run it. And now we see that this works. The set default allows me to just use one line of code here to accomplish what the three or four lines of code did here. And once you understand what's going on here, it becomes really clear. So that's just a, a good way to make your code a little more concise. There's nothing necessarily wrong with the method that I use here or when I I created the keys in here, but this is just a way to do it to make things pretty simple, especially in the case where you don't know the keys ahead of time that you want to use in the dictionary. So that's all I want to talk about for this topic. Of course, if you have any questions about set default, you can always ask in the comments below and I'll try to get to it. And also, if you haven't been to my website already, I have Python programming courses, mostly web development. So if you want to check that out, just go to prettyprintit.com. I have a link in the description below if you want to go to that as well. So that's it for the, this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. So thank you for watching this video, and I will talk to you next time.